Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Zombies Top 5. Today, we have a request from Big John's Gaming, as well as Gur the Robot, who wanted me to do the Top 5 Tactical Equipment in Call of Duty Zombies. So these are lethal grenades, tactical grenades, and other weapons that appear right next to your grenades in Call of Duty Zombies. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. If you do end up subscribing, let me know down below in the comment section and I will be sure to feature you in the next video like all these awesome people on screen right now. And also, if you have any top five ideas and would like a shout out in a video, I if I use your idea, I will give you a shout out so make sure to comment any top five ideas you have down below so without further ado guys let's get right into the top five tactical equipment in call of duty zombies history coming in at the number five spot is going to be the monkey bomb now the monkey bomb is iconic when it comes to call of duty zombies probably one of the most recognizable things when you think of call of duty zombies or people who've played it a couple times are going to think of this pretty much every time now the monkey bomb is definitely one of the better weapons overall because you can throw the grenade the zombies are attracted to it and then boom it explodes and possibly kills zombies depending on what round it is now the monkey bomb we've seen uh starting in Darice and then going all the way through zombies all the way up until black ops 3 and we still see it in black ops 3 the last map we had it was garage crovy where we could actually upgrade the monkey bombs which is really cool play dubstep music and it was sick now the really cool thing about the monkey bombs is that they were actually created by rick Toffin. so that's a little known fact if you didn't know and there was a really cool achievement on Darice called acquire waffle weapons which required the player to get the ray gun the wonder waff dg2 and the monkey bombs so that's kind of a little tidbit of information now it's cool because you get three of them every single time you get them from the box or get a max ammo so i'd always recommend if you guys see a max ammo throw all your monkey bombs grab the max ammo and boom you're set you got three more so anyways guys the monkey bomb comes in at the number five spot Coming in at the number four spot is going to be basically an upgraded version of the monkey bombs and that is the G-Strike. Now the G-Strike is pretty much exactly like the monkey bomb in the sense that it's going to attract zombies but the difference is it's going to fire a single napalm strike on that location. If there's one of the giant robots on the map, it's gonna fire a few more of those napalm strikes in that location. And then if you have all three robots on the map at once, it's gonna fire even more napalm strikes on that location. It's used as one of the steps from the Easter egg to open up the pits you can release all of the panzers and then you have to kill them for the easter egg so it's definitely an essential weapon and tactical equipment on origins now you need to get the tablet you need to get punches over in the top of the church area then you have to bring it over to the other tank station which is basically gen 2 and then you have to get more melee kills there and finally you'll get rewarded with the g strikes now the g strikes are super good to use for pretty much every step of the the easter egg just attracting zombies good at the end when you need to release maxes good when you're getting punches down inside of the excavation site when you need to kill the zombies that have like the glow around them as well so it's definitely one of the best equipment in zombies and it comes in at the number four spot coming in at the number three spot for how simply amazing it is is going to be the Lil Arnie's. It kind of sounds like a rapper name, you know? You have Lil Wayne, you have like other people who have Lil in their name, but Lil Arnie is is my favorite, all right? And the Lil Arnie's are great because it's like a little squid-like character inside of a glass jar. You throw it, boom, it expands, it grows, and then it attracts zombies, and the zombies go flying because all the tentacles are going everywhere, and boom zombies go flying it's great i love little arnie's because of how cool they are and also the upgrades that you can do for the little arnie's on shadows of evil you can get a little arnie to dance which is so cool with the gate worms which is awesome and then also you can also upgrade them on revelations as well which is always nice having the upgraded little arnie's just makes him much more stronger and more effective and overall it's one of the coolest things that we've ever seen in call of duty zombies you know like on shadows of 
of evil we have the apothecary servant it looks crazy right and then we have a tactical equipment that goes crazy with it as well another squid like creature because they love that lovecraft crazy stuff going on in zombies and i think the little arnies are just so cool one of my favorite weapons to use in zombies for sure and it comes in at the number three spot coming in at the number two spot is going to be the gersh devices now the gersh device is honestly one of the best tactical equipment because not only does it suck zombies into its black hole it can also be used as a teleportation device and i've used the gersh device as, as a teleportation device when i'm doing ascension speed runs and it makes it so much easier because you basically have an anywhere but here as a tactical equipment which is awesome now the gersh device is very very effective it it lasts a pretty long time and it's pretty much going to suck every single zombie in the area and the range is actually 51.4 meters because i like knowing random information about things in zombies that are cool now the gersh device is by far one of my favorites because like i said you can go to a random location on the map just by jumping into it which is definitely one of the best things Hopefully the RNG is a little bit better though when you're playing on Moon and Ascension because sometimes it can be a pain in the butt to get from the box. But overall, the Gersh device is awesome and it comes in at the number two spot. All right, guys, we have one honorable mention today, and that is going to be the Time Bomb. Now, the Time Bomb is fantastic on Buried, and it only appears on Buried, unfortunately. I'd really like to see it in other maps as well in the future, but basically what it does is you throw down the Time Bomb, and what it's going to do is allow you to save that point in time. If you ever want to revert back to it, all you have to do is press your stopwatch, and you'll go right back to that time allowing you to save maybe perks that you lost by going down or anything like that and also if you go through the witch's house normally you would get one perk if the lights are on when you go into the witch's house but you can use the time bombs to actually get two perks instead of one which is always awesome all you have to do is drop the time bomb before you kill the last witch and then you kill the last witch the perk is going to be floating then you use the time bomb go back and then you will kill the last witch again which will drop another perk so that's how you get two so it's always a great way you can basically start off your game with six perks if you buy four perks before you go into the witch's house or you can buy double tap which is in the witch's house which is basically the same thing but it's definitely a great effective method that i always use when i get the time bombs on buried so the time bomb is the only honorable mention and coming in at the number one spot for the best tactical in call of duty zombies comes from my boy mob of the dead and it is the hell's retriever slash hell's redeemer now in this gameplay i'm using the redeemer which allows you to have a charged tomahawk throw three times as opposed to the two times from the retriever and it's also blue so it looks way cooler anyway it's basically like the afterlife color but overall the tomahawk on mob of the dead is so good because it allows you to upgrade it obviously and it also has basically infinite damage you can keep throwing this thing it does take about five seconds to recharge but it is a fantastic weapon not only can you kill zombies with it you can kill brutus with it obviously and you can also throw it at different power-ups for example there's a few power-ups that are stuck inside of cells on mob of the dead you can just throw your tomahawk at that cell and it will collect the power up for you you don't have to worry about opening the cell with afterlife mode which is always fantastic and i think that the hell's redeemer is so so cool that it has an actual upgrade so all you have to do is fill up the three different wolves that are around the map there's one that's like right in the main like cell block area once you leave spawn there's another one upstairs in the infirmary right underneath the roof and the last and final one is down at the docks once you fill all those you can grab it in the citadel tunnels and then if you want to upgrade it all you have to do is kill about 15 zombies and survive one full round on the bridge on mob of the dead and then boom you can come back throw it in the lava pit and then the next round after that you have to go in afterlife mode and grab it from the location so anyways guys that is going to be the top five tactical equipment in call of duty zombies i did hope you enjoyed this video i definitely had a lot of fun making it so anyways guys thank you so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys in the next video notice how it's under 10 minutes yeah.
I don't really care if it's under 10 minutes or not. Peace, guys.